here in Singapore. Now, if any of you who wants to know a little bit more about Singapore's history and heritage beyond the usual tourist site like Marina Bay Sands or Merlions, you are in for a treat because in the next few weeks, Singapore is hosting its Heritage Festival. And uh, during that time, there will be a lot of workshops that brings you to those little known places. And we are today here at one of them. Uh, if you can see me, uh, it's called a and this is a place that, like people wood firing pottery many years regarding uh, this uh, structure and I'm not an expert in this but uh, we have um, so, so this place where we are now is actually turned into um, a, a pottery a studio and uh, standing right next to me is Suraya Suriani. Suriani, sorry, yeah. and she is uh, one of the resident artists who's based here at uh, Jalan Baha Clay Studios. So please tell us what is this dragon kiln and why is it called dragon kiln? Okay, hi everyone. So I'm very happy uh, to tell you a little bit about this dragon kiln. Actually, he has a name, and this dragon kiln is called Guan Huat. And Guan Huat was um, born in 1958. In, in Chinese, I believe it's called the Yuan Fa uh, Long Yao. Okay. Uh, it's one of the last two, two. dragon That's kilns right. in Singapore, right? Yeah. And it's, I, I, I read somewhere before uh, Singapore had quite a few of those. Yes, mm -hmm. we had something like close to 20 mm -hmm. um, dragon kilns across Singapore. Um, and uh, the reason for that is that, you know, there were uh, uh, potters. In, in making uh, pottery from China that came to this part of the world, not only in Singapore, but also um, in other in parts. Malaysia. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. Malaysia, mm -hmm. in other parts of Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. And so when they came here, they brought along with them their knowledge mm -hmm. of um, the dragon kiln. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, you know, the dragon kiln is so much a part of the story of Singapore's early industrialization process. So they were making um, cups yeah, to collect uh, uh, latex from rubber trees uh, from the plantations um, around here. And why you have dragon kilns in this area is because um, geologically the rocks um, uh, here around this area mm -hmm. called the Jurong Formation um, is very good for, um, for making pottery. And so there you go, you have, you know, the history of uh, Guan Huat mm -hmm. built in 1958 uh, here mm -hmm. um, by Mr. Li Yong. So um, this is supposed to be the dragon head, right? Yes. Where all the firing powers right. are placed. Um, is it like a timber, wood, or what do we usually um, put here? God, I'm in a factory of different types of wood. Wood would have to be prepared, cut into different sizes, mm -hmm. um, for it to be fed into what you call the mouth of the dragon kiln. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't see it now, but when uh, the fire has started, mm -hmm. um, very, very hungry. Definitely, and you'll see um, um, it's fire the the temperature to a uh, you know a certain um, uh, de um, degree so it goes that's right. a lot of wood that's why I say it's very hungry and so you need to How keep many tons walking and oh. see the length of yeah that is transported from the for several days of so, um, it's about three to four days and for it yes twenty four days a night yeah. and need a people that are on duty yeah we take uh, you know like a couple of two to three hours mm -hmm. yeah to take turns mm -hmm. to feed this very hungry dragon do we st so we all these technical know-hows mm -hmm. were learned and uh, con pr preserved from old days isn't it um that's right mm -hmm. so like i
outside of the CBD, right? You <laughs> can see, come, let's see, the, the drag body here, and we are And right of the so it's capacity from the mouth to the tail. Um, and in the past, when it was fired, it was fired every fortnight. It is like a factory right you right. know in in terms of you know making of the pots yeah um and enough pots to fill in yeah mm -hmm. this uh dragon kiln can we get out from the other oh yes mm -hmm. there's another entrance yeah um uh, to the bed mm -hmm. of the dragon right. um and this helps you know quite a lot later on when you know they are you're unpacking also the the kiln and you mm -hmm. have the doors mm -hmm. uh, to the belly to cool down
Singapore's industrialization evolution. Uh, like, uh, the, what was it used for? And now uh, uh, the dragon. Yeah, yeah. the dragon. So Suryani, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like our audience uh, can see the inside clearly, but I can. They already had a glimpse of how this this dragon, its uh, majesty, used to yes. be. Yeah. Um, so we were talking about before uh, Singapore had an industry. In this um, kiln was operating every two weeks to yeah. manufacture latex cups for the rubber plantation yeah. and then later on that ended up to Malaysia yeah. and that uh, they started to produce uh, orchid the flower pots yes. right and then uh, and then how come then later on not use anymore yeah. so so that would have been in the 1980s right up to the 1980s yeah the making of flower pots and how flower pots were very highly in demand Singapore was um, just post independent building itself into a garden and so therefore yeah the, the, the demand for the flower pots. Um, from the nineteen eighties onwards there were pots that were cheaper made of plastic um, and so the, um, the the decrease in the demand meant that you know the, the factory production also um, was reduced. So it was also in that period of time um, that um, you know there was efforts, right? There were efforts also to try and keep the uh, the factories going. But unfortunately, um, you know, because of a uh, process of development in Singapore as well, um, the government needed spaces, you know, to build, you know, infrastructures, housing, and so quite a lot of the fact, uh, you know, of the dragon kilns were demolished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So hence we only have two oh, yes, left. That's right. Yeah. Um, but luckily, uh, the Jalan Baha Clay Studios took over this place, and now it's home for artists like yourself. Yeah. So you can create work uh, alongside this heritage site, um, right? Yes. It's, it's in a way, it kind of like um, gives you inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives this place also a new life. Mm -hmm. um, so Jalan Baha Clay Studios is managed by Focus Ceramics Services, and they open up the space here yeah, to. Uh, potters, yeah, professional potters, uh, ceramic artists like me, also um, hobby uh, um, uh, potters, mm -hmm. um, and so we could use the space, yeah, to create, yeah, mm -hmm. our our works. Mm -hmm. um, your own studio is just behind, right? And uh, let's take a look at the workshop over there. Okay. Yeah. Do you want the yeah, this is the workshop yeah. uh, space. Oh, oh, here actually we can take see that there's a gallery here. That's right. And so it showcases the works of the resident artists here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a way to um, create a, a, an experience for visitors, yeah, uh, to uh, visitors to come here. Um, and then also for the artists to engage with the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, uh, the, the, the artists now, they don't, they, they don't work on wood firing kilns. They work on gas and yes. Uh, that's right. So you have the facilities there, yes, right? that's right. The electric and gas kilns mm -hmm. that are available here, mm -hmm. in the interest of conserving um, Guanhuat Dragon Kiln, mm -hmm. um, there's no uh, wood firing that has taken place here yeah, in in the kiln so mm -hmm. far. So all the artists here actually we house something like 20 over artists in 16 uh, studios. Um, most of us, you know, uh, uh, do our firing in the electric and and gas kiln. Does different kilns create different finish and look and feel? Most certainly, <laughs> yeah. Also, 
still, you know, uh, it's not only the, the finishing, but, you know, the temperatures at which you can uh, fire, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the kiln up to, and also the type of firing. I mean, if you, uh, you know, are familiar, you know, you know artists, some, some uh, ceramic artists wants to fire for... Um, at reduction or oxidation, so it works. Be it works quite well in the gas uh, uh, in the gas kiln. Mm. So gas kiln is your preferred uh, way. Yes, that's my <laughs> preference. <laughs> uh, it's not so labor intensive. If I ha I were to fire in a wood kiln, I'll have to you know right, um, right. you know uh, get the because time. now uh, you don't need the scale and the quantity. It's more like an art piece, yes. your know, experiment. Right. Yeah, that's right. The shift from factory production to um, studio pottery means that you know there's different ways of of doing yeah mm -hmm. of doing um, so, uh, pottery yeah mm -hmm. in um, uh, today mm -hmm. yeah. So that hence, we don't need the such big firing chamber anymore. Yeah, that's right. But it is a very important, I think, it's a very important site yeah, of uh -huh. heritage right, right, right. to remind us how we have moved so far mm -hmm. yeah, from the time of uh, wood firing to now you know, using electric and gas kiln. Thank you so much for your introduction. Um, can we see some of your work? Uh, yes, in the studio, in my, my pottery studio. Sure, can we like, take, a, yeah. take a look? Yeah. So I, I have been in the studio since uh, 2005, mm -hmm. um, and I've been very lucky to be able to continue and mm -hmm. stay on mm -hmm. uh, here. Mm -hmm. um, so, so these are your work? These are yeah, freshly out of the kiln this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, and this is um, fired at uh, 1280 right up to 1280 degrees okay um, so it's a similar temperature like the dragon kiln um a bit higher, a bit higher. <laughs> yeah okay. yeah so what uh, this uh, collection what's your thought process what, yeah what's so the these are design? i'm preparing for uh, an exhibition and so um these are these are going to be in an exhibition an upcoming exhibition in mm -hmm. july okay yeah and what's the theme if you can share um it? Well, the theme has to, has to do with conversations that I had with my mother, my late mother. Mm. Um, and so this is, you know, um, just a range, oh yeah, a range of the works. Okay. The stories will come later. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, speaking of, uh, um, like, I, I kind of want to get my hands dirty. Thank yeah. you for the introduction. Yeah. Let's talk to Alvin. Alvin, I, uh, so this, Jalambaha, so you are also one of the resident yeah. artists here, and you have a very unique uh, venue. You have a very unique venue here. Uh, you, it, it, there's a lot of story behind. There's a lot of creativity, um, and here what we see that it's actually a, a space that you open to the public, yes, right? That's right? What kind of program do you run here? Uh, okay, for this Singapore Heritage Festival, actually we run five programs. One of them is for experiencing. Uh, wheel throwing, mm -hmm. the other one will be clay plates drawing, and the other one will be the puppets drawing, and there will be another one is a demonstration and also a uh, open house for the dragon kill. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, thanks to the Heritage Festival, more people will get the opportunity to come and visit the Dragon Kiln, right? Yeah, that's uh, right. Apart from the Heritage Festival, you are also op um, open house, right? You open for tours and stuff? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. it's, uh, every public are welcome to come to this place mm -hmm. uh, during the open days, like mm -hmm. from Monday to Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, it's open to public, like people can come here and do a tour or even like picnics. Mm -hmm. or experience some pots growing. What, what is the, what's the, what's the, what's going to happen to the dragon kill? Because this is, uh, is uh, we know like for environmental reasons, uh, w uh, the Singapore uh, Environmental Agency said we cannot fire it anymore. Uh, and it's not sustainable, but it has heritage value. What's, what's the fate of this dragon? Uh, we are not sure right now, but we are working very hard with NHB right now and also JTC. Like, we are seeing like how can we preserve this place, like even like let's say we cannot fire them anymore. Mm -hmm. Can we be doing a display or I mean to, to keep it for the public to understand like in the olden days how people do pots and fire them. Mm -hmm. Well, um, speaking of the workshop, I would like to try my hand. Is that possible? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Come have a seat. Thank you. How did you do, Gabriel? Running away. Hello. So um, I'm a complete beginner. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Hello. Should I show you first? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, so the first, the clay need to be uh, dry. Okay. So that the clay will stick to the clay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the this is the clay from this area. Uh, it's from Australia. From Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a white stoneware clay. Okay. Yeah, it's quite um similar to porcelain, but uh the ingredient is different. Not like a pure uh kaolin clay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I read that they said pottery is an art. A uh, combination of for water, earth, fire, yes. and human wisdom. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, like <laughs> all, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the elements. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the clay, and then we need water. Yeah. And then after that, we need uh, fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in wood kill, we need wood. Mm. Yeah. Because the wood creates a different effect, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So first thing, uh, in the center. When the clay are uh, stick to the clay, so mm -hmm. it doesn't move around. So okay. you need to wet your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this, uh, are you right-handed? Yep. Okay. So the the players should go counterclockwise. Okay. Okay. Now you need to center first. So maybe and I'm stepping on a. You are right-handed oh. stepping on something, right? Yes, the pedal. Oh. So this is the. The pedal to control. And it controls the speed. The speed. Yeah, okay. it can go very fast. Okay. Or slow. It depends on the. So I start uh, slow, obviously. Yes. Beginner. Uh, the beginner, you need to uh, be. Uh, you need to have very fast speed. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you will be using this two part uh -huh. to bring the clay up. Okay. So it will become cone shape. Mm. Okay. I should take off my bijou. This is how we center it. Mm -hmm. And also, that we are trying to compress the clay, mm. prevent the, the air pocket inside. Mm -hmm. okay. Then, your hand, your left hand is always uh, here. Mm -hmm. Then, you use your right hand mm. to press down the clay. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, then usually we do this uh, two to three times. Uh -huh. And this is just to prepare the clay? Yeah, to uh, prevent the air pocket inside. Okay. okay. Maybe I should take off all this. Master is showing me. Okay, this will be the first step. You center it now. Mm. Now I'm going to open the clay from the center. So your hand, your left hand will be here. Mm -hmm. Your thumb will be in the center. Mm -hmm. Now using your three finger here mm -hmm. to press to help to press the thumb down. Mm -hmm. You press down first mm -hmm. until the base is almost the uh, thickness of this your little finger. So I can press down a little bit more. Okay, mm -hmm. until you get the thickness mm -hmm. of the base. Uh, I just check if it's still on. You continue. Okay. Now. The next step. Hmm? No, don't touch it. Okay. So the next step will be using your left finger, three finger inside. And then your right finger, oh no, the thumb inside, sorry. And the three finger inside, mm. 
to bring the clay toward to you mm -hmm. so that we can open the clay. Mm -hmm. So mainly you are using your middle finger to mm. open up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bring the clay up from this side. Mm -hmm. Now the position will be your right hand will be outside, mm -hmm. the left hand will be inside. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can remember all of that. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember it or wow. I think they can. Mm. They did. Hold on, I need to go down a little bit more. So do you actually see a lot of people getting to uh, pottery making during uh, the yes. pandemic? Because it can be quite therapeutic, right? Yes, it is. yes, it is. A lot of our students come to the class because uh, they have a lot of stress from the work. So now I'm going to bring the wall. Yeah, I mean, uh, the silver lining of the pandemic is like a lot of people are going back to man sheng huo, gardening, uh, Baking, baking, cooking, creating. Yeah. They should pick up a lot of like hobbies right, during yeah. this time. Right. Yeah. So you do see a uh, uh, traction come more people yes. coming to the studio. Yes. In the past, there years? is more people are interested. Mm -hmm. Like for this festival itself, it's almost almost full for mm -hmm. the for the whale troll. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to use a sponge to smooth the inside. So the sponge is to create a more smooth yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. finish? Yes. Now I'm going to bring the wall up more. So uh, are these equipment uh, expensive? Uh, the ammo chore actually you can buy uh, more like a basic set yeah, like, like this is like for kit. pro right, yeah. okay. this is a pro set so it's so like they are all like made in China made this in China? is yeah, made in China but the brand is from Japan from Japan yes so Japan has a big industry in yeah 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 so I noticed that um, in uh, maybe 20, 30 years ago, people were more into ceramics, like really smooth and uh, uh, finish. But now it seems to like people like the earthy, uh, uh, rough finish. Is that is that the trend? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a trend. It's more like preference. Like if you if you like more like a wabi sabi type, then you like uh, more like a free form like pinching mm. methods like this is very smooth, very smooth. yeah so i think most of the people like like smooth yeah. stuff mm. okay. so this is done. Yes. Okay. so i'm going to uh, i'm going to clean the surface so you were using the wooden tool So smooth them. So this will be finish the cup. Mm. I think she will make the side this is a this is a basic uh, cylinder form for the cup. So that's uh, uh, like a beginner 101, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. You start with that, not some fancy one. Yes. Usually uh, we will uh, learn how to make a cylinder first. Okay. And then after that, the next step will be um, learning how to trim the base. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if you want, you can add the handle. Mm -hmm. And after that, you can uh, then the next form will be ball form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, this yeah. will be like very, very basic two forms to learn. Oh, and okay. usually will take like more than two months to learn. Okay. Yes. Try? <laughs> yes. Okay, so let me try. Let me, uh, cut this one. Okay. Oh.
you you have the prepared. So make sure that your hair is always dry. Okay. So that you can pick it up. Mm -hmm. So that you not destroy the shapes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So be careful, be careful. This one. Well, it's my turn to try. So make sure that uh, the plate is dry. Mm -hmm. So, place the ball in the center. Ooh. Place the? Yeah, press down the plate first. Okay. Make sure that it stick to the plate. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you see yeah. Yeah. Yes. And now with your hand. Mm. And keep the pedal. Too fast? Yes. Yeah, too fast. Just need more water. Faster? Yes. Okay. So make sure that your hand is on the tray, on mm -hmm. top of the tray. Mm -hmm. You want to? Yeah, maybe I'll take that take off. This off. Yeah. Oh. Layer? Oh. <laughs> How to take it off? Oh, that's a bit tricky. Um, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, open. Thank you. Are we streaming this? <laughs> Okay, it's already open. Just take it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's already open. Oh, it's already open. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes. By the way, these are my children. Yeah. <laughs> They're so on public holiday. You put your elbow on, on the ball. On your leg. Or on my leg. On tray, yes. And your leg will be better. Okay. Yeah. So like, make sure that your hand doesn't move when it spins. Oh, okay. okay? Mm. So a little bit faster, your hand, your feet. <laughs> yeah. So try to bring the play up, up, up. Yes. Yes. All right. Very right. It's rising. Yes. It's rising. So that your hand has to go up. Just slow down, slow down the speed. Yes. Now I created created a hulu shape. Yes. Okay. Now your right hand mm -hmm. has to be like this Let way. Let me know. Like this way. To press down the plate. To push down. Yeah. Press down the plate. Make your hand straight and then go. And it's correct. Can you feel it's in center? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, continue? Yes. Now I can uh, move your hand to the Oops. side. Yeah, this is okay. not. Okay, now to bring a little bit up. Bring it up again? Yes, a little bit. Slow down the speed. Slow down the speed. Yeah, your hand is moving. Try not to let it. It has a... It has a very good feeling. Yes, the clay is soft. Yeah. Yes. Playing with mud. Yes. Every child... So when you feel it's... Yes. When you feel the plate is in center, mm -hmm. then you can um, try to open. Open? Now the, wait, now let's uh, press down the top to level the, the plate at the top. I think the plate is off center. Okay. Hey. So these clays, um, uh, the materials, they are all imported. Yes. You said this is from Australia. Yes. The tool is from Japan. Uh, what other clays the machine, do we use? The machine is from Japan. Mm -hmm. The tool, my tool is from China. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the clay, we what are the common ones that people uh, artists use? This one uh, is from Australia. Yeah, and it all comes with uh, different types of uh, 
clay mm. and also depends on the artist what height of the temperature they want to fire up to mm -hmm. some people prefer the earthenware which is uh, uh, the temperature will be lower mm -hmm. yeah so and this is the... would be uh you need to fire up to certain hundred degrees so that the clay will mature okay yeah and this uh, would need what kind of temperature? This is uh, 1280. 1280. Yeah, the measurement can go up to 1280. Mm -hmm. Between 1200 to 1280. Do I press it down? Yeah, that's enough. Then we can uh, try to open. So when we open, use your left thumb here. Left thumb? Yes. To make sure that this part is on side. Mm -hmm. Open yet? Okay. Not yet. So wow, you're doing so good. Yes. So use uh. your Use your finger to mm -hmm. press down the thumb. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Cool. So until that you feel that it's almost the, to reach the first little yeah. finger, mm -hmm. the base. I think almost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think. Oh, too much. I think enough. Okay, now use your left hand inside. So your yeah. left hand inside. Left hand inside? Yes, like this. Yeah. Or like this. Okay? Yeah. And this your left hand support on top. Just put on top okay. of your left hand. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then I'll try to press, press pull to you. Woohoo! Okay. It's thinning. Yes. So, oh! Uh, uh, thinning. Slow, slow the speed. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Slow down the speed a little bit. Yes. It's, is it getting bigger? Yes, yes. I think enough. It's not. The speed needs to be slow. Try to use the sponge to smooth inside. See, I almost made a ball. Yeah. <laughs> ball? Making a ball or a cup? So I have no idea. So what yeah. do I do with this? Yeah, you just it? fold it. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a cup. Uh, turn the wheel. Okay, the pedal. So you uh, just uh, smooth the inside. Uh -huh. Just pull the sponge tightly. Okay. Try not to open the top. Just close the inside. Okay. Is it smooth enough? Yes. Yeah. But I think the center is off center. It's too deep. Oh, so you're closing the center. Yeah, close a little bit. The amazing bit. thing is you can always uh, fix, right? Yes. But sometimes you cannot. <laughs> I try. Shall I bring up the speed? Yeah, a little bit. Woohoo! Oh, it's closing! Yeah. Fixing! Fixing. We can bring to the center. Do, 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 do. Wow, so cool. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So now the outside, I think it's a uh, thing enough. Mm -hmm. So now let's uh, use uh, this uh, tool mm -hmm. to you just hold like uh, holding a pencil. What happened to you the just previous? Just hold like holding a pencil. Okay. okay. Then uh, turn the speed. Turn the speed. Turn the and wheel. I draw around it. Yeah. Turn, turn the turn the wheel. You just go from top to. Oh. The button, so you can straight for yes. 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 Yeah, you need to send it back. Yes. 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 Yes.
It's this yeah, way? Hold the, hold, yes, hold the... Only like the pencil. Hold, yes, hold the tool tightly. Don't let it fly, okay? Like a pencil. Yes, like the, this? When the and the straight? Spin, yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. A little bit faster. The wheel. Okay, then... You go down. Okay. Wow. You now use a sponge. Hold the sponge to fix the top. How do I fix the top? Yes. Let the wheel turn. Yeah. So your hand just stay in one position, one point, like three o'clock position. Mm -hmm. So just let the wheel Faster? turn. Yes. Okay, then that's it. Woohoo! Hey. Hey. Pretty hey. good. <laughs> oh, there's the hard part. Yeah. Okay, uh, I need to do one more thing. That, um, can you turn the wheel? Yeah. So that um, you hold this. We need to make it a bevel so that it will be easier to cut. Okay. We need to hold so whatever that we cut off, mm. put the back can use again. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. This uh, when um after uh two to three days, yeah. all the sand, all the clay will sand down. Okay. So the water and the clay will be separated. Oh. So we remove the water, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we will we will place all the we call it slip. Yeah, what do you call at the bottom of the clay with water? We call it slip. Uh -huh. So then we will place in the plaster table uh -huh. to dry the clay okay. until it gets the right uh, moisture we can wait again okay. then we can always reuse the clay so Leia how was your experience? it's your first time too right? she loves it how did you what did you learn today? how was your experience? was it fun? yes how many did you do? No, this is the last um, step well I first did one. Then after uh, oh, yeah. this, uh, I fried. Okay, and sorry. Let's one. try to see if but it was too wet, so I got to move it. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I made another one, but I made a hole at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I had to restart, and now I made this one. Okay, this one can be your soy sauce dipping. Yeah. So now I wash my hand yeah. here. Wash your hand first. You put your things in, in, in here. <laughs> <laughs> now the switch key. Now the switch key. I use that one to drink water. Okay. So. Okay. Where's the wire? The wire okay. was on the table. How do you need to sign up for it? It's okay. already. Okay, so hold on, let me just check this live streaming. Thank you.